In fighting game terms, a bait is to basically make the opponent do exactly what you want them to do. How do you do this? Well, you essentially have to make them think that the option that you want them to pick is the correct option for them at that point in time. This can be done in many different ways, but we will be going over 5 simple baits that don't take too much time or effort to practice and any beginner player can easily apply into their game. Keep in mind that these baits obviously won't work every time, so you shouldn't spam them or rely on them too often. Use them more as a mix-up tool. Number 1. Fake Ledge Trump If the opponent is hanging from the ledge, you can force them off of it by grabbing ledge yourself. A quick way to do this is by running off stage and doing a half circle motion back towards the stage with the analog stick. This is called a ledge trump. If the opponent knows you will go for this, or if they simply have a habit of quickly trying to get back up, you can instead fake a ledge trump by dashing towards the ledge and then dashing back or retreating to punish your get up option. And also remember to punish every get up option. Number 2. Fake Edge Guard a lot of players like to go off stage and try to gimp or edge card their opponent, and I'm one of those players for sure. But at times a better option is to fake an edge card attempt by jumping off stage like you normally would, but then double jumping back on stage. This is useful because you can force certain panic options out of your opponent, such as air dodges and jumps. They can also choose to not do anything and try to recover low, which is ultimately where you want them to go most of the time. And if they try to counter edge card you, make sure to stay away from their attack range. Number 3. Tomahawk I've mentioned tomahawks constantly throughout my videos, but it's really a game changer. If you keep coming down with aerials and always get shield grab, one of many ways to fix this is by tomahawking, which is a fancy word for empty jump. Instead of coming down with an aerial on a shielding opponent, don't do any aerial and instead just land and grab them. It's really that simple, but it's insanely useful and essential. Although, don't always go for this because the opponent can easily punish you if they know you will go for it. They are also useful while in disadvantage. Since most people land with an aggressive option, try landing with nothing. And if your fighter has a command grab, that's another plus and you can choose to land with this since it also beats shields. Number 4. Laggy Moves Although risky, you can at times throw out a move that's a bit laggy like a counter, dash attack, or smash attack at a distance from the opponent. They might try to punish it, but you may be able to act before they make contact with you and punish them instead. I recommend doing this when you're not at kill percent, or in any real threat of losing a stock, just in case you do get punished, which will happen occasionally. Number 5. Stop Applying Pressure Sometimes it's better to stop applying pressure for just a second to see what the opponent does. We tend to get caught up in the game trying to get combos or getting a stock off, whatever it may be, but we forget that at times it's better to simply stop and see how the opponent reacts. I like to go for this after a certain string of moves, like a neutral air or an up air. But you can also do it after getting just one hit in, if the opponent is on the ledge, and many other scenarios, so try to remember to stop for a second and not overextend. Yo, what's good homies? Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you found it helpful in any way. Don't be afraid to comment below on any questions or video suggestions you might have, anything you would like to add, how I can improve my future videos, anything else you can think of. I love feedback from you guys and I respond to all comments as long as they're positive and respectful. You can also follow me on all my social media to stay up to date with my current projects. Make sure to join my Discord server if you would like some coaching lessons or just hang around. And don't forget to subscribe for more future videos like this one or just regular gameplays. Alright, thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.